I've manufactured a new part um, for a winch that's used to launch radio controlled model gliders. The new part in question is this one we're pointing to with a pencil. This is the old one that one can see it's broken off a part on top here. So basically what this pin consists of, it's got an 8mm diameter at the bottom here. Then it goes into 5 millimeters, and then it goes on to just a little smaller than 4 millimeters to be able to cut a 4 millimeter thread on there, which is on there now. And then it's got over here, it's got a 2 millimeter hole for the split pin over here. So how this works is that this spring goes over here, then this part together with the spring goes into this here. Um, in putting it together one would then have to hammer the pin in there. Once the pin is in there what happens is the pin actually slides up. If it's that way it, you can see this pin can go that far and that locks into a disc which has holes drilled in the circumference. Um, once one pulls it out and turns it 90 degrees, the pin actually rests onto a much shallower, shallower area and so that pin at the bottom can't go into the other holes in the circumference of the disc that's part of the winch. It's a little bit complicated to explain with, without the rest of the winch being around, but what I'm trying to um, illustrate just in this video is um, making this part and putting it together. So once a pin is in there, one would then screw this part on it. This is a handle to pull it on. And then once the handle is on there, I put this lock nut on there. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.